Well, tonight's musical guest was already a legendary guitarist who had worked with everyone from Ricky Nelson to Frank Sinatra. And then he got a phone call from a guy named Elvis Presley back in 1969. Elvis was making a huge comeback, and he wanted the greatest guitar player in the world to help him form a Vegas band for that comeback. My next guest played with Elvis Presley for the rest of Elvis's life. It is a true honor to welcome back Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, one of the most celebrated guitarists of all time, James Burton. James, thank you, sir. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. You know, when I watch video of the Las Vegas gigs and the special from Hawaii and all, I mean, I'm always looking at him. That's James Burton, and I know this guy, and he's still on the stage with Elvis night after night after night. When he first called you and said he wanted you to help put that band together, did you think somebody was pranking you at first? Well, I was real busy in all the studios, and I had to make a decision. I said, I don't know if I have time to, to go do this uh, full-time gig. Yeah. Well, it kind of worked out that you did. It worked out. He was <laughs> such a great guy to work with and a great entertainer. One of the things that maybe people don't understand, when people went to work for Elvis, they usually stayed. It, he, he did not have a revolving door. People stayed with Elvis. Why and he called me. He called me and asked me to put a band together, and uh, I had to think about it. But the more I thought about it, I said, you know, I think I'd like to do that. So when we started playing Vegas full time. He took good care of the people who worked with him, didn't he? He, he did, absolutely. And I, and I think that's one of the great legacies of Elvis that he, you know, we were talking about Mr. Lansky earlier, but that was one of the characteristics everyone has said about Elvis. He respected people. He treated them well. He was a good Christian boy and a great guy to work with. Uh, just, you got along so good with him. It was fantastic. And James, I, and I'm being careful because I know you came tonight with some laryngitis <clears throat> and I don't want to push it, but. Yeah, I was looking so forward to tonight and I got here. I couldn't speak. Well, uh, you know, you speak with your guitar louder than anybody else in America <laughs> ever has. <laughs> if you never said another word, all you got to do is pick up that Telecaster and let it loose. But I can't uh, go further without just saying, you know, Elvis's legacy just has been coming back. The movie that was released this summer, I know you've seen it. Do you feel like that was a pretty good depiction of Elvis's life and, and the work that he did? Uh, yeah, I thought it was fantastic. Uh, uh, I could see some Grammys coming out of it. Uh, the singer was fantastic. Uh, I think uh, the Colonel did a good job. I, I was impressed and I love the movie. Of course, I'm an Elvis fan, so it's easy to love it. But if it had been that it was harsh to him, I probably, would have been very upset with it, but it didn't. It, it showed him as a caring person. Now, we also have a whole bunch of guitars here on the stage. And, uh, you know, that's another part of what you do is make guitars available for kids across America. Why is that such a big deal to you? I just, I just want to help the kids uh, continue our music legacy. And I just think uh, <clears throat> such a small thing for a great joy. And uh, I just love doing that. It's, uh, and we're going to, uh, we're doing these guitars, I believe, for the veterans. And uh, the Vanderbilt I, veterans. And your uh, foundation, uh, the James Burton Foundation, makes those guitars available. I think some of these that we have here tonight are going to end up uh, with veterans at Vanderbilt Hospital. And uh, what a great gift that is to those who have served our country yeah. to put music in their hands. Thank James, you. I'm not going to try to make you talk because I know it's painful <laughs> to do it. But uh, Keith, while we get ready for a musical tribute to Elvis, I'm going to let you tell the viewers where they can get more of the wonderful music of the one and only James Burton. Now, to reach James' website and to see an exclusive performance of one of Elvis' favorite hymns, He Touched Me by James and Elvis gospel backup group Terry Blackwood and the Imperials, visit Huckabee.tv.